You know, there was a time when it came to celebrities in Hollywood or even sports figures, we didn't know what their political leanings were outside of a few very rare exceptions. Now it seems like every celebrity's got to put it out there that I'm for X or I'm for Y or I'm for Z. And if you don't like it, you can just bug off. And I'm being polite there. You know, famously, Michael Jordan was asked. Can't remember if this was the late 80s, early 90s. Um, about who he supported politically or who he most identified with politically. And, and Jordan didn't refuse to answer the question, number one. Number two, he made a statement, and, and it was a simple one, and it was, Republicans buy sneakers too. Meaning, don't piss off half your audience. Well, somebody needs to tell Rachel Zegler, it's not a good thing to piss off half your audience. So here we have from thatparkplace.com, Disney Snow White actress Rachel Zegler causes controversy with unhinged social media election tantrum, hopes Trump supporters never know peace. So before I get into this, just want to say thank you for everybody that takes the time out of their day to watch my videos, watch my content. Um, if you want to support me and the channel and the things I do and the things I cover, best, best ways you can do it and it's free is uh, give me a thumbs up, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, don't forget to hit that little notification bell to let you know when my videos are uploaded here on a daily basis on YouTube and over on Rumble. And last thing, before you leave, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. These things help YouTube know that, hey, um, my content's worthy of being promoted on the homepage to get the word out. So here we go. Another day. Another Rachel Zegler controversy. Disney's Snow White actress launched into an unhinged social media meltdown flying off the handle in the wake of President-elect Donald Trump's victory over Vice President Kamala Harris. Zegler apparently posted parts of the long diatribe maligning and appearing to wish harm or misfortune on the incoming president and the 75 and a half million Americans who voted for him to her Instagram account during the intermission of Romeo and Juliet, the Broadway show she's currently starring in. Now, Steph Ann, my nerdy home over on X, happens to have the screenshots. And this is her post, her post over on X. Rachel Zegler hopes Trump supporters never know peace, tells her followers to get, get off X because Elon Musk supported Trump, and ends with, fuck Donald Trump. This is Disney Snow White. By the way, she probably won't face any consequences for posting this by Disney due to their unfair double standard. Uh, hopefully Gina Carano has this to give to her attorneys if she doesn't already, because here is another instance of somebody that works for Disney voicing their political views, disparaging half the country and, um, nothing will probably happen to her. Unlike the situation with Gina back in, uh, was it 2019, 2020, somewhere in there? So here we go. Rachel Zegler. I find myself speechless in the midst of this. Another four years of hatred. Leading us towards a world I do not want to live in. Oh, you don't want to live in a world that is prosperous? You don't want to live in a world that has more freedom than we do right now? You wanted more censorship? Because that's what you're saying here, Rachel. Leading us towards a world that will be hard to raise my daughter in. Leading us towards a world that will force her to have a baby she doesn't want. Leading us towards a world that is fearful. I don't know about you guys, but... The only thing I see is uh, the United States is going gonna, is gonna to be peace through strength, just like it was with the Reagan, Reagan years in the 80s. I shouldn't be the shock, but I am. I am heartbroken for my friends who awoke fear this morning. And I am here with you to cry, to yell, to hug, to wax poetic on how the left continues to fail us in forging a new path forward. This loss should not have been, and it certainly should not have been by so many votes. 
I echo Ethel Kane's statement more than anything. May Trump supporters and Trump voters and Trump himself never know peace. There's, there's also a deep, deep sickness in this country that is shown in the sheer amount of people who showed up for this man who threatens our democracy. Oh, here we go again. Threatens our democracy. No, threatens your form of de democracy, Rachel. Oh, and by the way, I've said this in other videos. We are not a democracy. We are a representative or constitutional republic. There's a huge difference between democracy and republic. It is terrifying the number of people who stand behind what this man preaches. It is a foolish subscription to a false sense of security or, or masculinity or of intelligence, of patriotism, and of humanity. There is no help, no counsel in any of them. I can go on. I won't. I feel sad. You probably do too. Fuck this. Get off Elon's app, by the way. The fuck are you doing? They're eating you up on Twitter. I don't use that app for a reason. He helped get that man elected and you're giving him business. I was talking about finding Carthasis and art. I don't care if you're going to pick a fight with me. It's been done before. Find something real to be mad at today. There's plenty to go around. Okay, that's all. Going on stage for Act 2 now and, and need to get off my soapbox before I get too heated. Sending love to everyone who needs it today. May we all carry each other through the worst and hold these politicians accountable. Your dim gubs just got very important. They already were, but hey, follow your governors. Hold them accountable. Local government is where we will make real change. This is not the end ever. I will, I will love through these four years best I can. Fuck Donald Trump. So those are Rachel's comments. Now, Steph also grabbed this screenshot. I'm not voting for Kamala Harris because I love her, because she's my mamala, or because she's brat. I'm not voting for her because I agree with her on every issue. I'm fully ready to protest when she falls short. I'm voting for Kamala Harris because either she or Donald Trump will be president come January. And if Hillary Clinton, another deeply flawed candidate, had won in 2016, Roe v. Wade would be law today and women who are now dead from treatable pregnancy complications would be alive. Because I don't believe trans people and immigrants are, are the root of our problems as a country. Because I do not want a conservative Supreme Court for the rest of my life. Because I want us to be able to protest her without having the National Guard deployed on us. Because if she loses, I worry I may never vote again. Now, that there... That, those comments there are just sheer ignorance. That's what they are. Roe v. Wade. It's been said before. It, it, by Ruth Bader Ginsburg, of all people, said it was bad. It was a bad decision by the Supreme Court. Roe v. Wade's back with the states where it belongs. That issue is back with the states where it belongs. Um, as far as immigrants, got no problem with immigrants as long as they come into this country legally. You come in through a port of entry, you declare, and you come in legally. We're, we're, the majority of us have a problem with immigrants is the ones that come here illegally and they get handed everything under the sun. By the federal government and also by state governments. Um. I'm not even going to get into the LGBTQ stuff. They're not losing any rights. Neither are women. Nothing's changed. Nothing's going to change. See, that's the beauty of the Constitution. Everybody has rights the same under the Constitution. It's a wonderful thing. Um, let's get back to the article here. So it should be noted that Zegler is not a mother and this daughter she spoke of in her rant is purely hypothetical. Zegler then goes on to apparently wish harm or, and or hardship upon the incoming president and those 75 and a half million Americans who voted for him. Uh, the Hollywood actress has yet to appear in a, success, a success, 
successful, spit that out, film, then describes what she refers to as a deep, deep sickness in this country. Over the overwhelming amount of people who showed up to vote for President-elect Trump before calling him a threat to democracy. Then her attacks move on from American voters to Elon Musk. Went over that. And this, you know, after today, yesterday's announcement about Doge being created in the government, which I just simply love. This latest Rachel Zegler controversy was incendiary and insulted more than half the country. In the wake of her seemingly endless stream of venom, many heads turned to Disney with a raised eyebrow. As I stated before, I hope Gina Carano has this to give to her attorneys. Disney and Lucasfilm fired Star Wars actress Gina Carano from her critically acclaimed role in The Mandalorian because she shared a meme on Twitter that drew a comparison between how liberals turn on and demonize conservatives and how the German people turn on their neighbors during the rise of the Germans in World War II, the bad Germans in World War II. It's important to note that Carano had simply shared a meme without commentary. Ziggler went on a profanity-laced triad in which she appeared to wish misfortune on half the country. Yet Carano was vilified and fired, while Ziggler Snow White will come out in theaters next year with the star likely going on press tours and being celebrated by the company. Which, by the way, that Snow White movie, it's... It's DOA. It's dead on arrival. It'll be lucky. It'll be lucky, in my opinion, to do $400 million at the box office, which, by the way, is, is what the reported budget's going to be, is somewhere around $400 million. It'll be lucky. Many wonder whether this outburst by Ziggler will actually help Carano, who is suing Disney for wrongful termination and discrimination. This is far from the first time that Rachel Ziegler has created controversy for the House of Mouse. While speaking with the press, she attacked the original, original Disney animated classic Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. I've gone through that on other videos. I'll link, I'll link to them down below in the description. Uh, let's see. Interest in Zegler's live-action Snow White seems to have already hit extreme lows. The film's trailer has a stunning like-to-dislike ratio on Disney, Disney's official YouTube account with 96,000 likes and over 1.3 million dislikes. So I'll leave it up to you guys. What do you make of Rachel Ziegler's latest comments? And what do you make of her basically disparaging half of the country? So comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I thank you for watching. Uh, share this video out there with your friends and family, and I will see you 